Last week, Puppy was having a hard time calming down some strong feelings. Luckily, we had Snail to help us out. Let's go check in with him and see how he's doing this week. Okay. Remember, when you're having a strong feeling, say stop. That feeling, and take a take deep, deep belly, belly breath, breath and calm down. Down, down, down. Okay, I can do this. First, say stop. Then, name your feeling. I feel sad. Then, take a deep breath to calm down. <sighs> okay. Hey, puppy, how's it going? Oh, hey, Miss Paul. It's going okay. Um, what have you been up to? Well, today I was playing with my toy. My brother Enzo took it from me again without asking. So, I'm sad, I guess. But it's okay. I remembered the steps to calm down when you're having the strong feelings, so I feel better about it. Oh, good. I'm glad you remembered those steps. Uh, snail steps are always really helpful for calming down. Hey, did you ever say anything to your brother about it? Oh, no. I didn't want to upset him. Hmm. You know, next time that happens, you could use your strong, assertive voice, and you could tell him that you didn't like that. Really? You think I could do that? Yeah, it might sound something like this. Uh, and so, I don't like it when you take my toy. Next time, could you ask? Okay. Okay, yeah, I think I could do that. Awesome. I think you should try that next time. Remember, a strong, assertive voice is always respectful, and it's always caring, but you let the person know what you need so that they can hear you and help you out. Okay, sounds good. Awesome, I can't wait to hear about it. Oh. Remember, an assertive voice is strong and respectful. Hey Enzo, can I talk to you real quick? Sure. What's up? I didn't like it when you took my toy. Next time, do you think you could ask before you take it? Yeah, sorry. You just looked like you were having so much fun. I really wanted to turn. Well, maybe we could play with it together. That would be awesome. Let's play catch. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode. It was so great to see Puppy remembering the steps to calm down, and with a little help, he was able to use his assertive voice. Remember, if you have a problem, first you have to calm down so you can talk about it, and then when you're ready to talk, it's important to use that strong but respectful assertive voice to tell somebody how you're feeling so that they can hear you and help. I look forward to seeing you again next week. Bye.